hope you guys can get used to the squeaking and squonking of this chair. <laughs> squonking. Anyway, what is up everyone? It's it's Jessica, just your neighborhood Jessie here to say hi. And we're in my backyard and hopefully the noises aren't too distracting, annoying. It kind of depends on the noise, I feel like. If you hear the nice rustle of the wind, I think that's nice. But someone mowing their lawn, maybe not as nice. But I am here to share with you guys a bunch of things that have made our life easier. They have been game changers for our family or for our household. And I want to share these with you. I've actually been working on this list. I started brainstorming this video like two months ago, and I finally feel like I have enough things that I'm like, I can't wait to film this video. So that's what we're doing today. I hope you're excited. I'll have links for any, like if it's a specific thing I mention, everything is a specific thing, just uh, I'll have all of it linked below. And of course, if you do shop anything through the use of my links, I do make a small commission. So thank you ahead of time for the support if you choose to. And I also wanted to thank today's video sponsor, which is HelloFresh. I've been working with HelloFresh for a very long time. And so when I was thinking about what video to use for the sponsorship this month, this, it just seems to fit in so well with this topic. So if you've never heard of HelloFresh, it is a meal delivery service. We've been using it for years. We absolutely love it. The meals are so delicious. And I do feel like it kind of fits in that category. It is kind of a game changer. It saves you time. It saves you stress. It's delicious. So we love that each meal comes with a really nice recipe card that lays everything out step by step. It's super easy to follow along. And they always have over 30 recipes to choose from. They have over 70 convenience items and they're all delivered to your door. And I love that they're just picked produce travels from the farm to your door in less than a week. I think that's pretty cool. But they also have kid friendly recipes. So if you've got a picky eater in the house, like I do, I've got a four year old that, you know, only eats fruit basically. <laughs> They've got that covered, which I think is so nice and they're really flexible. You can change your meal preferences, your delivery day, you can change your address all on the HelloFresh app. It's super easy. And I love that a lot of the recipes are really, really quick. Tonight's meal that I'm making is so fast. It's probably one of the fastest I've ever made. And HelloFresh is up to 72% cheaper than dining at a restaurant or grocery shopping. So HelloFresh also offers veggie, pescatarian, and fit and wholesome meals. So if you're trying to reach a certain goal or you're just eating a certain way, and you can even customize your meals with Hello Custom, where you can swap out proteins, you can swap out sides, you can even add protein to a veggie meal. So it's really easy to customize it. And I really think it is so cool that HelloFresh is the first carbon neutral meal kit company. Nearly all of their package is recyclable. And of course they send you pre-portioned ingredients, which means there's less prep for you and there's less food waste. So if you want to check out HelloFresh for yourself, you can go to hellofresh.com and use code JBRAWN16 for 16 free meals across seven boxes and three free gifts. I'll have that link and code right at the top of the description box if you want to check it out. Out. promise you won't regret it. We absolutely love when HelloFresh gets to our door. It makes that week so much easier and it is always so delicious. Look how good this looks. Don't mind the chip in the bowl. <laughs> yeah, we have a chip in that one too. I was loving. Um, I've already been tasting this and it's delicious <laughs> as expected. It's so good, you guys. Everything is always so good. Tyler, you're going to like this one. It's, I always do. It was so fast too. I made it in like I should have looked at the clock. I want to say with filming, 15 minutes. So yeah, if I hadn't I would been say filming it, right. 10. Mm. So I've been brainstorming this video for quite a while and um, I'm excited. <laughs> I don't know if you can like tell, but I'm like genuinely so excited. And I've got my homemade iced coffee here. We are, we are moving and grouping. I want to share with you a system that I learned. I'm pretty sure I learned it from the Minimal Mom here on YouTube. I'll link her channel. She is like, lovely. She's just like, every time she uploads a video, I always watch it and she just puts me in a good mood. But anyway, she mentioned having this like just in case paper drawer. I think it was her. And so what we've done is in one of our drawers in the kitchen that would typically have been a junk drawer. I mean, it would have been our second junk drawer. We still have our main junk drawer. I feel like you are not living a real life if you don't have at least one junk drawer. Come on. There's always those things that need a home, but this is our second <laughs> junk drawer. And basically we just put a container in there that we already had and that is our just in case paper drawer. So anytime we get something that we're not sure, like it's a bill, but we know we already like, maybe it's auto coming out. We don't usually you know, need the paper bill or it's just something we're not really sure we might need in the next month or two, like a coupon or something from Bed Bath & Beyond, let's say, because I'm always getting those and I'm always scared to throw it away in case I need it. <laughs> so we'll put those papers into this little area and maybe every three months we will 
pull it out, go through it, recycle a ton of it. Then if we ever were to need something, we know where to look. All of the random papers we might need are in there, but then it's not, it's not piling up so much that we end up with years worth of stuff. If, you know, once a season, we just pull it out really quickly, boop, 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 these have expired. We don't need these. We never ended up needing that, whatever. Recycle them and you move on. And it gives you a home for those papers that you really don't know. Like, I don't need to necessarily file this, but I can't throw it away just yet. It's perfect, especially if you're someone like me that you're kind of that just in case person where you're like, I want to declutter, I want to get rid of this, but what if I need it? This is your answer, you guys. It is the simplest thing, but it is totally transformed so much. It's just streamlined where things go. I've talked a lot recently about how Sorry, I'm distracted by everything. I'm distracted by, it's beautiful out, but I'm distracted by like the dumpster truck or whatever dump truck down the street. I'm gonna try to focus. So I just feel like having a home for everything and that would include little everyday things like paper or mail or coupons, those add up really fast and you don't necessarily wanna throw everything away. And so just having a home for that in the meantime is is a game changer to use the title it is absolutely a game changer so i'm curious if you try it how you like it because it is just like the best thing we've instituted in years in this house i gotta slow down i'm like my energy is on the freaking moon all right this i'm gonna lovingly call the battery daddy i thought i made that up it's a real i mean the one we have is some random brand, but there's also a name brand of it called the Battery Daddy. You can find it on Amazon and a lot of other places. This has totally made battery finding and storing easier. First of all, I didn't know you're not really supposed to store batteries just haphazardly, you know, like all mixed in with each other. I don't remember why I learned why and I've already forgotten. <laughs> no room in there to stay especially if you have kids, you end up needing batteries all of the time. And so we like to have, you know, the classics, AA, AAA, et cetera, on hand, but having this type of storage thing for it so you can quickly find what you need, you, you know, if you buy, you can quickly see if you're running low so you could buy some more, refill it. It is so nice. And again, it kind of goes back to that having a home for things, having a home for your little batteries is so so nice so i have to mention it i i tell a weird amount of people in my life about battery organizers because i think they're so cool i got one for my parents too so i know i know they're loving it too that one is just like whoever thought of that is a genius it, genius and it, again it's so simple whoa i was so serious about the battery daddy i typed it on this list twice <laughs> i did not want to forget that one this one's kind of a weird one you can buy corner shelves on any site, undoubtedly. I'm sure we got ours on Amazon. And we put one in our like toilet room. I almost called it a toilet room. <laughs> we put it in our toilet room. And just having a little shelf in there that, you know, the one we got, it looks kind of finished. So it looks almost like it was built into the house, you know? You could put a candle on there, depending on your setup. You could put, you know, toilet wipes or whatever you call that. You could put a little air freshener, feminine products if it's that time of the month, but having a little corner shelf in there. Oh, tissue box. Like that's the most obvious one. It has been so nice to just have a place to set things in there. And like I said, it looks like it belongs in the bathroom. So it's not super weird, but it just I don't know. Like, again, it's one of those dumb things that I'm like, why have I never thought about this before? But the second he, Tyler, installed it, I was like, this is lovely. So then I'm going around my house like, do we need corner shelves anywhere else? Anyway, you could put a plant on it. But just thinking about your own space, especially in your bathroom, a corner shelf could really utilize space well. It could also just be decor, like I said, but it could be useful holding tissue boxes or whatever. Or if you're wanting to put a candle on it and have it higher up so kids can't reach it, you could still have a candle lit. Although having it that close to the wall, I don't know. But anyway, a weird one, and I thought about taking it off the list, but I'm gonna mention it anyway, because I think it's awesome. If you are someone that loves butter, raise your hand. <laughs> I'm sure everyone is raising their hand. Who doesn't love butter? We were so tired. We wanted to have real butter, but we got so annoyed with, obviously the butter is always hard because you've got it in the fridge. Even if you have it in a butter dish, it's always hard. So then you either have to warm it or you're trying to spread it on toast and it's ripping holes in the toast and it's driving you crazy. And we have a four-year-old that her favorite thing in the world is bread and butter slash toast and butter, depending on her mood, I guess. So it was driving us nuts every single day. And so 
finally we discovered these butter crocs and i think they're more popular elsewhere like not in america but we got one and again there's a million brands a million different colors whatever you want but you basically smash a stick of butter in there and then it's gonna sound weird but stay with me you put a little bit of water up to a fill line in the actual other part of the container and then you flip the butter bell down into it and i don't know the exact science so i'm gonna butcher something here but i guess you leave it out on your cabinet i almost said nightstand <laughs> why are you eating butter at night <laughs> You leave it out on your um, countertop. Did I say cabinet? <laughs> Guys, I've already started this video over once. I can't focus. I'm gonna blame the coffee. So you leave it out on your countertop and it gets to that room temperature and it stays there. And so it is always spreadable. And the reason you're able to do that and the butter not like spoil or go bad, I think the water that goes down in there and the way it's all built creates a seal around it Again, I'm sure I'm butchering the science. It's apparently totally safe, and that's why it's, it's pretty popular in other countries. And we switched to doing this a couple years ago, and I'm, I'm never cutting holes in toast. It is incredible. So I want to mention it because, it again, it's changed our everyday and made our lives easier. And, yeah, we, we always used to buy, and sometimes we'll still buy, the spreadable butter. But, A, it doesn't taste as good as, like, Kerrygold butter. <laughs> my goodness it is so good even the spreadable carry gold is not quite as good and also it's not nearly as spreadable as when we do it in this so wanted to mention that because that my friends is a game changer for butter lovers which is probably everyone if you have not yet bought a cordless vacuum you need to be brought into the year 2022 you need a cordless vacuum and the reason i say that with such confidence is a you can get one at a lot of different price points so you know the one we have we've had for like probably since we got married five six years seven years oh my gosh how is the year 2022 anyway we've had ours a long time it's still kicking i think we might be getting close to like maybe we should get but it's still working but we have the Dyson one. You can get way cheaper ones, I feel like, that are still really good. Just read reviews. But, duh. But, guys, you can so quickly vacuum your stairs. Like, that's the spot in my house for me that drives me bonkers is if there's, like, you know, just random stuff. You don't even know what it is, what it's from. You can just grab it. I can do our stairs in, like, less than a minute, and it makes my whole week better. <laughs> because I hate dirty stairs. It drives me crazy. So having that, but also if you have hard floors too, not even just carpet, it works so well on hard floors. So just quickly, especially if you've got a toddler with crumbs or a dog with fur, you can just so quickly hit areas without worrying about plugging it in, this, that, and the other. And so then when you're not using it, it's on the charger. So it's always charging. It's always fully charged when you need it. It's truly the most utilized thing in our home other than our coffee pot, which we're going to talk about. <laughs> And it is just like, I, I, we have not, we have a regular vacuum. I have not pulled that out and used it in a very long time. Like every once in a while we'll want like a really deep vacuum, but like I, we go a very long time without doing it because this does such a good job. We don't feel like we need it. So had to mention it. I'll link the Dyson one. We have, we have an older version obviously, but those are really good. And honestly, when inevitably this one poops out and we buy a new one, I'm probably going to go with Dyson because it lasted this long. But I know some people have that I know I think have like the shark one. Um, I want to say that one's a little bit cheaper and they seem to like that too. I think it was shark. Okay, our coffee maker, stay with me. We've tried a lot of coffee pots over the years and we are very big into drinking coffee. We are very picky with coffee. I don't want to say we're coffee snobs because we are equal opportunity lovers of coffee, but I mean, we're kind of snobby about it. <laughs> no, we're not. Anyway, so we discovered this Breville, Breville, I don't know how to actually say it, one. And I was kind of reading reviews and we wanted one that you could grind the beans right within it. And this one does that. But a lot of the ones we'd seen that were cheaper, they said the grinder like pooped out after like a couple months and this, that, and the other. So the one thing we'd read about the one we have is that you have to be good about the upkeep of like cleaning it out, cleaning out the grinder area or like underneath because it can get all gunked up. Knowing that and keeping up with that, this pot makes the best coffee. <laughs> the best coffee. You can mess with the strength of it. It'll grind the right amount for how many cups you're wanting based on the strength level you choose. Like it is so customizable. We'll always like set it the night before, set it to brew at, you know, 6.30 a.m. or whatever. So it's always ready when we wake up, which 
it definitely helps getting out of bed early when you know coffee's already made and waiting for you. That is That right there is a game changer. But it's the best coffee. So if you are wanting to invest in a very nice coffee pot, this is the one, especially if you really like, I don't even know how to put it into words. It's so good. And like I said, we've spent enough money on other coffee pots that didn't make good coffee or it always tasted burnt. Oh, and the other thing is the actual like hodl that holds it all keeps that coffee hot all day, all day, all day. And because it's not sitting on a burner, like we used to have a bun one, which those are amazing. They make coffee in like two seconds. The coffee's pretty good. But if it's left on the burner a long time, you get that burnt taste there on the bottom. This one, because the actual thing itself, it's not on a burner, the actual thing itself is so thermal, it stays hot all, I'm not exaggerating, all day. So if you have that coffee pot, corroborate with me down in the comment. It keeps it hot all day, doesn't it? I know, so yeah, love it. I, I wasn't, that one wasn't even on my radar for this video, but Tyler was like, I asked him, I was like, are there any other like kind of game changers, like things we use all the time that we love that we would recommend to anyone? And he was like, our coffee pot. I'm like, oh, <laughs> didn't even think about it. Okay, this is a newer addition. <laughs> and it is this steamer from, I think it's from Conair. I bought it from Costco. You can get it on Amazon too. I don't iron. And boy, I got some, people were mad at me for saying I don't iron. And someone said, well, don't you iron your husband's shirts? I'm like, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> First of all, if you've ever met Tyler or you've seen him in a video, he loves ironing. So that's something very weird about him. Second of all, just because I'm married to him doesn't mean I do everything for him. It was just a very awfully presumptuous comment. But anyway, no, I don't iron his shirts. I do do our laundry, though, and he does the yard work, and that is the trade off. <laughs> anyway, boy, I'm getting off, off topic. I don't like to iron. So honestly, like if a shirt is, is wrinkly, I just don't wear it. <laughs> <laughs> or I'll like rewash it or you know you do all the things every once in a while I'll iron if I like it's a dress I'm dying to wear so my point is this steamer came into my life I tried like three other steamers some cheaper some more like legit and I hated them all so either they were too clunky and hard to get going to actually use it it would take too long I'm like I might as well have ironed it at this point or they were so kind of small and like not very powerful that they really didn't do the job this one is in a totally different league compared to the other ones I've tried. This one gets hot in about 10 seconds. It's like turbo, whatever. And so I'll just hang, let's say a shirt up on our little shower door, plug it in. It's hot in literally 10 seconds. You can kind of like steam it. It doesn't need to be pulled perfectly taut. Like I can just do it kind of haphazardly. It gets out all the wrinkles so fast. It is absolutely absolutely incredible what's cool is it says you can also use it as an iron like actually lay the thing out and iron i haven't done that but i can see how you'd be able to do that so i absolutely love it it has changed the game now i have all kinds of wrinkly shirts that are not wrinkled and they're hanging in my closet and i can wear them and i'm not stressed like if i get it out of the dryer late and it's all wrinkled you know what i mean so that one is incredible highly recommend for anyone okay if you have a kid having a stuffed animal net is amazing as long as you don't mind the visual clutter we have a little girl that just she loves stuffed animals she did when she was a baby she still does every time like we're at a place where you can get souvenirs she always wants a stuffy and she plays with those stuffed animals but she has so many and we'll declutter from time to time but a lot of them are very meaningful to her right now and so i tried like putting some in a basket i've tried you know putting them in like more of a hamper and having it in her closet but they always ended up everywhere anyway. And so we got this little net. And when I was a kid, we used to have a net in the corner of our room. I shared it with my sister. And that's where our stuffed animals were too. And so it, it totally makes me think of my childhood in the 90s. So I think that's a piece of it. And this isn't like such a game changer, but it is one of those things that made our life easier. So now when we're cleaning up, I can just toss us, toss them right up there. If she's wanting to pick one out, instead of dumping a whole thing, she can look and say, will you hand me that one? Or, you know, whatever. It's so nice. They can still look cute up there. But like I said, it's, it's useful storage, but she can still see it. It's kind of nice that she can't reach all of them. So then, like I said, she's not dumping all of them. She has to kind of ask for the ones. Now she has started getting smart and she'll go get her little stool from the bathroom, drag it in there, try to get, <laughs> I'm like, honey. That has been a really nice addition to her room that has made our lives just that little bit easier. Cause you know, kids and their toys and the messes. Oof. I'll take all the help I can get. So we have these snack containers in our pantry and 
They're messy right now, so I'll show a clip of me redoing them. We got these and they're actually like closet storage, I think for like shoes and stuff, but I bought them kind of on a whim for our snacks and they have been so perfect. It's perfect because our four-year-old can open the drawer, grab out, you know, a granola bar or whatever it is, or crackers. And it's pretty easy to keep clean. And the nice thing is every once in a while, like now, I'll just pull it out, kind of dump everything out, reorganize it. It takes me like three minutes, but it just helps keep the snacks organized to a certain extent, but also kind of corralled. Before we had those, I was finding that I would have like a bag of tortilla chips and, and this, that, and the other. And they'd, uh, you know, a box of granola bars, they'd be all over the place. And it's really nice to have everything kind of all in one. You can shut it. It's corralled together. And so we basically have one for kids and one for us. I mean, there's a lot of crossover because I eat her granola bars, her <laughs> granola bars. They're totally for me. <laughs> um, and you know, she'll dip into our this, that, the other. So but it's really, really nice and it's proven to actually work really well for us. So I wanted to mention it. Um, it's not like that mind blowing to have like drawers for snacks, but I just feel like these particular ones work really well. And the, we have basically two smaller ones on top of a bigger one. So it's three separate pieces. Um, just if you were curious, that's the setup we have. You could do, honestly, you could do four smaller ones together if you just wanted those drawers and no bigger ones. So I think that's everything I'm gonna mention. I feel like the second I turn this camera off, I'm gonna think of like five more. So if you wanna see a part two to this here in a couple months, let me know. I would love to share more of these kind of life game-changing type products and ideas and systems, if you will. I This was so much fun, to, <laughs> weirdly fun to do. If you have any game changers, please share them in a comment. You might give me ideas for my next video. Maybe I'll do a video trying your, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try your guys's game changers. What, like if you had to pick one product or system that has totally made your days easier, your cleaning up easier, organizing, or they just make you happy. Maybe they make really good coffee. Put that in a comment, because I might collect some of the ones, and if you agree with someone, thumbs it up so it kind of works its way to the top. Uh, I think that'd be really fun, and plus that it's gonna make my life easier, so <laughs> it's a win-win, I guess. Anyway, I love you guys so much. Thank you again to HelloFresh for sponsoring a portion of this video. So if you wanna check out HelloFresh for yourself, you can go to HelloFresh.com and use code JBRON16 for 16 free meals across seven boxes and three free gifts. Again, I'll have that right at the top of the description box, and I will see you guys in my next one. And don't forget to subscribe. Oh, jeez. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. I would love to have you join the family. We do vlogs here. I do some Make It Be Beauty videos. We kind of do it all. I would love to have you join, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.